very, you know, there's only a slight difference, in my opinion at least, between component and HDMI. And PS3 is not really hooking you up with that either. So basically, if you want to go high definition on your PS3, you got to go out and buy some more stuff. Actually, I want to make a statement. The j Just to let you know, I, I don't know about the other ones, but the Call of Duty Special Edition did not include component cables. We really? only had AV, which, really? was, which surprised me. Mm. So, I mean, I'm not sure. You're probably correct with the other ones because that was a special edition, and that had 250 gigabytes with two controllers and the Call of Duty game. But um, j just for that one, that didn't have component. It only had AV. That's that's yeah. what I'm upset about. Yeah, they're just, just uh, it's really dissing your gamers. It's just, it's I just find that every, everyone wants HD. I know every, just, why everything not is give it to so them? backwards because you know all these systems started off with like you know PS3 had backwards compatibility and you know everything was supporting HD to begin with. Now you you lose the backwards compatibility and you're taking away the HD. Now that people actually have more HD TVs yeah. than when you yeah. started, it doesn't make any <laughs> sense to me really. <laughs> 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 Like I personally, I'm I'm somewhat supporting Xbox on this one, or at least the Microsoft How community dare you. is. <laughs> I'm like public enemy number one on the show. <laughs> one hands are coming after you. Yeah, this, gonna, time, I'm this time it's, to in, like, it's within the studio. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna start to walk around with like a, a taser on me or something, arm myself. No, but Carry um, a bow around like the weatherman. Yeah. <laughs> no, <laughs> extra, I mean, extra credit if you actually saw that movie. <laughs> I did horrible. I mean, like, what I think is, I don't think, it's not a necessity. Games, the games that are on the systems aren't required to run in HD. It's not like, it's n it's not a necessity for the game it's to actually like function. Check. Yeah, the game can function perfectly fine without an HDMI cable and HD capability. I think only once games demand HD as just a requirement to function Which should they right. start providing it for them. I mean, am I... Oh, yeah, because then your system wouldn't yes. work. But yes. the fact that they're being, I think the, the crime here is, is they're being so cheap with it, like give you enough to make it work, but not, like it's like buying a, like a, buying a car that looks like shit. Like you, you have a car, I mean, like it runs and it'll get you from A to B, but you know, I mean here, it's not, a, I kind of made, it's a little bit of an exaggeration, but I mean you get, you get your cable to get it to work the first time, but I mean if you have an HDTV, you poured some money in that HDTV, you bought a system from, I mean, let's say you're Sony, you bought a Sony TV, you bought a Sony PS3, you have all this gear, Sony, 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 and they don't even give you a cable to hook it up? Come on! Like, I Sony mean, brags about their HD 24-7, and they don't even give it with their, their highest gaming console. I mean, the way I think of it, I think of it like leather seats in a car, alright? Yeah. Do you want leather se seats? Yes. Are they nice? Yes. Are they a requirement? No, they're not. Does everyone want leather, leather seats? Probably. Well, we're but living in an HD era, and I think this is really something that needs to happen. I yeah. mean, should you say they should keep it? Are you saying they should not give them HD cables if, it was, if it's an option? I'm not saying I'm not saying that they shouldn't, but I'm just supporting them on the means that it's not it's not a requirement. So if, if that's their justification, then I support them. If they're much like trying to you know keep money in their pocket pockets, then no. I, I can see no other justification. I mean, just taking it away. Oh, we put the price cut. It's not worth it. Just put give them HD cables now. That's I mean, I, it's all I think the thing is, for me also, I just feel like you're you're misleading, you know, to all the people out there. I mean, if if, so, if a person goes out and buys a you know a new 360 for their son, and like maybe the person has had a 360 over his house, and is like, oh my god, this looks so great on my HDTV. He gets the new 360, plugs it in, and he's like, this isn't what I was expecting. Yeah. You know, it's people. You know, not everyone knows about this, and I just think that's. It's it's really lame, and you really shouldn't have people going out. People just want to plug it in and play. Yeah, especially after consoles. By the way, um, our final topic for our main event: we have a lot of uh, RTSs coming out, and um, I know Empire Total War is getting some new expansions uh -huh. coming out. Um, you have Zoranik's favorite here, uh, but let's let's talk about how it translates to the console. So, how are RTS games translating to the console? Um, should they translate at all, or where is it better? Um, you know, a lot of these games that are coming out RTS, the people, the console guys, after the success of Halo Wars, are starting to to toy around with uh, how they can get RTSs on the console, which is, used to be a PC exclusive. So, how is this working out? How How is the console uh, market handling RTSs? Well, it's, uh, I guess we can start with Chief. All right. Um, I, I'd like to say uh, I'm definitely on the side that console RTS games are fully legitimate and enjoyable. Um, I personally really enjoy them. I uh, 
I played some of the games that were even lesser known. Like I, I was a big fan of the Battle for Middle Earth 2 game. Uh, I played Tiberium Wars on 360 quite a bit. And then obviously the the big you know the biggest one Halo Wars I played a lot especially with uh, Renex over here this yes. summer you know we would get three v threes going <laughs> and it's just I gotta say that that game is so much fun if you get you know a group together Brute right Rush <laughs> Brute <laughs> Rush Covenant you know we can get to do discussions about you know Halo Wars and what you think of it later but well Renex what do you think of it um, I thought Halo Wars was great. Um, console RTSs are just awesome. I, I personally, because you know, I, like I said, I didn't have a good computer um, until yeah. until just 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 uh, over the b b between Christmas and the New Year's. A little upgrade. Yes, yeah, so <laughs> ten 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 helped me build my my uh, computer. How's so, that working out, by the way? No, uh, it's perfect. There's no, nothing nothing so far. All right. <laughs> so, I'll let you know. <laughs> <laughs> the the hamster wheel is powering it just fine. Yes. 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 <laughs> but um, like I said, I, I didn't really have a good computer, so anything I really played was on a console. So um, now that I've been, now that I've had, I got a new computer. It's a good one. I've been playing cons, uh, con uh, RTSs on them, and I have to say that they're actually really fun, though, especially using the keyboard and such. But what I like about the console is that it's simplified, but not like not like it's like babyish. Yeah. Um, like for example, I've played Lord of the Rings: Battle for Middle Earth two. On both the PC and the Xbox 360. Um, what? Oh, uh, um, the PC version was great. I like that. There's there's more options um, in uh, the skirmish modes. Like you, like you can have four or like uh, four on four rather than just two on two or three on three, um, which is which is good. Uh, there's more maps, but um, I like the console version. It's a lot. It's more fun. Um, I like playing online console yeah. wise. That's all, that's also because I'm more used to it, but um, I'm I'm one of the lobbyists to get the Witch King expansion on brought onto the X Xbox. So, you know, if, if anyone there is still playing Lord of the Rings: Battle for Middle Earth 2, you're not alone. Uh, one thing <laughs> I want to say before I, I I continue, Lord of the R the Lord of the Rings: Battle for Middle Earth 2: Rise of the Witch King is probably one of the longest names I've ever heard <laughs> for this yes. game. <laughs> and, and it is one of the hardest <laughs> games I've ever played. I can't even get past level 5. Um, but yeah, uh, Halo Wars, I think, like, pretty much defined the console genres. Uh, the, the console RTS genre, because it made controls just for the console. It didn't, it didn't have, it didn't port from the, from the PC. It, it was, was made, not a port. Yeah, yeah I'm sorry, it, it was not a port. It, it wasn't, it, it, it didn't have, it was, it, it wasn't created for the In PC. In English, oh, remix. More. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but okay. <laughs> it wasn't made for the for the PC and then brought over to the console. It was made for the console, which I think w is the reason why it's so successful on the console, because it was made for it. Um, especially instead of pressing A, you press X and then you use A. It, that, that just that just that just. Awesome. Yes. Just say it, awesome. That's what I yes. mean. Yeah, I mean, it was With <laughs> me, you know, sh uh, crapping over my own words. It's just pure <laughs> awesomeness. Yeah. I mean, um, Ensemble, you know, it's a, it's a great developing studio. Um, I mean, obviously, they're not really around in the same sense that they are uh, when the game came out. But um, they were a great, you know, studio to head up the Halo Wars development. They, you know, with Age of Empires, they had already made some great RTSs. And then you had a franchise that... You know, you couldn't get a much better one when you're working on a game for a 360, um, at least if you're trying to get sales. <laughs> yeah. And then, um, honestly, I gotta say that for last year, Halo Wars I, was at least online. It was probably some of the most fun I had of last year, as far as video games go. I mean, Ranex, you, me, and uh, a couple friends, like we would go online and we we'd work out strategies and yes. playing. I, I really love being able to take the live community, which I've never really explored so much in a, in an RTS sort of sense, and have that same community that I play, you know, Halo and Call of Duty with, and then all of a sudden I, we're working together and making strategies with our controllers. And I, I think, like you said about the simplification, or, or like or at least the streamlined, I think is a better word, I, I don't really feel that limited. I mean... I think there's so many, like, uh, you, it's just as valid, it's not like all of a sudden games that are real time are starting to become turn based or something, um, it's, it's fun, it's great, it's, um, 
it's just a lot of fun. Yes, uh, there's a, there's an achievement, Halo or 